I'm sorry, where are my manners? I haven't even introduced myself to you yet. That's right, that's right. I, I am Switchblade Jay White. Oh, there's more. I am the number one asset in all of pro wrestling. Oh, I am the last rock and roller. Personal favorite, I am the man that single-handedly sold out Madison Square Garden. I am King Switch, baby. I am the first ever Grand Slam champion. I, I am the never open weight champion. And I am the real belt collector. One, the one, the one real belt collector. And I am here in impact for one man. No, 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 I'm here for one man. I am here for David Finley. David Finley thinks he can come to impact and hide from me, but David, I'm talking to you, buddy. Our date is set. August 14th at Resurgence, David Finley is hoping and praying for a resurgence of the Finley name. The Finley name, the Finley name that in wrestling was once respected, now simply laughed at. Oh, how daddy must be disappointed in his son. You see, David, your career peaked when you beat me in the New Japan Cup. But buddy, that's it for you because you will never beat me again and you will never beat me for this. Oh, oh, but although I'm here for you, David, I couldn't pass up on the opportunity at Slammiversary to come out and say hello to Bullet Club's greatest fans. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whilst I appreciate that, I'm not talking about you guys. No, no, no. I'm talking about the guys. I'm talking about the guys that are walking around throwing up two sweets like it's still 2013. Those guys are the true fans of Bullet Club. Those guys are the true fans of Swift Play J. White. But I understand why they do that, you see. Good Brothers have only ever been relevant when they can tie their name to Bullet Club. So I see why the Good Brothers are so desperate to rejoin. But Good Brothers, this is a new era of Bullet Club. This is my new era of Bullet Club. And in my new era of Bullet Club, we have standards. And I'm sorry, Good Brothers, you guys just simply aren't good enough anymore. So, so, after thinking about it, as far as your application to rejoining goes, it's gonna have to be a no. But, but, but we all know I'm such a nice guy. So, good brothers, if you want to appeal that decision. Yeah, Brown is not lost on me. What we are about to see standing inside of an Impact Wrestling ring. Kenny Omega 
is about to walk down here and look Jay White right in the eye. This has the potential to explode. Yeah, but Jay White spent nearly two years in those hardened Japanese coaches. These men here, they know as well. They've been there, and it feels like they think they're above and beyond it. But there is the man who is now listed as day to day after defending the title in a brutal, bloody war against Sammy Callahan, Kenny Omega. The Good Brothers and Don Callis are here. Now you guys have done it. Now you've done it. Don, calm down. Hey, hold him back. Hey, Gunner, hold him back. Hold him back. Oh, you fans, you brought this on yourselves. You really did. Calm down, Don, calm down. Give him a piece of your mind. You know, I'm really happy because Jay White has always been one of my favorite talents when I was in New Japan, making people famous on the microphone. We always loved Jay White. Good looking young kid, great athlete, great guy. Hey, you even got the promos down, don't you, kid? I heard you out here talking about the new Bullet Club. Do you remember what it used to be like? Oh, I remember what it used to be like. I remember what the real Bullet Club was like because it had the machine gun Carl Anderson. It had Big Daddy Gallows. And of course, the man who took it to a whole new level, the god of pro wrestling, Kenny By God Omega. You see, Jay, you see, Jay, while you were cooking Chunko in the dojo for the veterans and washing people's backs, Kenny Omega and the Invisible Hand and the Good Brothers were selling out the Tokyo Dome. You honestly think that you're going to come up here and step to the elite? You, my friend, are in charge of a group called the Bullet Club that sells dozens of T-shirts, a group that has loaded, with the exception of you, with mid-carters. So I think really what we should be talking about is you putting your foot forward to ask our permission to join the elite. Wait, Don, you don't even work here anymore, do you? Hang on, 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 hang on. You, did you, uh, did you call him a wrestling god? Is that what you said? Yeah. You're reminiscing about the old days selling out all these places. Yeah. You are, you, you are. If you're gonna talk about the old days, make sure you don't forget about one particular day. Uh, that was the day, the last time that me and your wrestling god were in the ring one on one. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Don, but I believe I beat him. We're gonna we're gonna have to really talk about this, Don and I. We're gonna we're gonna get back to this. Of course you are. I'm, 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 of course you are. Meanwhile, talk to the OGs. Go relax. We, we got this. We got this. Please, please, take a load off. You had a rough night. Jay White. Jay White. Jay White. We want to talk about how unthankful you've been. You know, every single time you hear that bu 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 bullet club music hit. And it elicits a reaction worldwide. Well, uh, uh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Jay, the other thing that comes to mind is the fact that uh, 
Our thank you letters seem to have been lost in the mail when we left Japan and came to America. Then you and your buddies could actually earn a livable wage. So, so. You're welcome. That's right. See, this is about you, Jay White, being a little bit more thankful to the boys, thankful to the good brothers, right, LG? That's exactly right, Jay. I know we're all on social media here. We're all on the gram. You see Machine Gun Carl Anderson's mansion in Tampa, Florida. Yeah, yeah. You see the 8,000 square foot monstrosity that I call a domicile in Atlanta, Georgia. That's your house, yeah. And, and, and I've heard, I've heard you got yourself a nice little starter house in Florida, maybe a, maybe a 4-3. No, I think it's two and a half bath. That's two and a half bath's it. great, yeah. that's good. You start a family with something like that. Here's so. the thing, here's the thing. We're in the middle of this ring, Impact Wrestling on Access TV. We've got the Bullet Club leader standing right here. That's true, that's true. And we've got Bullet Club royalty standing right here. Oh, yes! Yes! So this, this is the perfect opportunity, Jay, just to just get it off your chest, man, and just tell us thank you. It's, it's two want. little words, just Jay. Thank you. Thank just you. say thank you. Simple. Two little words. Quick, quick little thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. And never changes with you guys, does it? All you ever did was this. And it looks like all you ever do now is still talk. But it doesn't matter what you say because us three, we know the truth. The truth is, your career peaked when you lost the 2012 G1 final. Oh! And all three of us, and I think maybe more, we all know that I am simply everything that you two wish you could have been. Uh oh, what did you expect? Uh, there's nothing else. Well, there's so much animosity and backstory just to the lineage of the club, the ownership of it. A lot of members feel that the, the Jay White generation of the club isn't the true generation. I'm not saying that, others are saying it. Yeah, Jay White would argue with that fact, but right now, Gallows and Anderson are just taking it out on Jay White, and it looks like the recipe's gonna be the same. Chris Bay. Yeah, we remember what happened at the top of the show. Jay White made an offer to Chris Bay, but he said that the offer will expire. Perhaps Bay's been thinking about it. I think Bay's accepted the offer. Look at this, he's going right after Doc Gallows. You know, BC backwards is CB, so maybe <laughs> Chris Bay is destined to be a part of it. I see what you did there. And now, oh. Oh, you're about and to see what Jay White was gonna do. Jay White and Chris Bay are standing strong right now. Yeah, but it starts the thought process of getting into Don Callis' head. What's Don Callis, Kenny Omega, and the Good Brothers thinking? Now that Jay White is here, and he said that he's here alone, but you know, wrestlers, you can't trust the word they say. Not at all. Look at the look in the eyes of the Good Brothers. They know what's coming. Chris Bay knows what's coming. 